Hello everyone. Yeah. Hi everybody. My name is Tiago. Let me go back to him. So, uh, I'm gonna teach you guys today the advanced motion graphic. Who was the yesterday? Here, here, here. Quite a few guys. Um, how many of you guys work in the industry? A few ones. Some wanna get in. You guys do a bit of scene for the After Effects already. Everything. Cool. So, uh, I'm not gonna show my show real again because half of the class watched twice already. But basically, I'm a design animator and a motion graphic, if you want to call that name. But it's basically motion graphic, is just the mix between animation and design. Uh, it's quite difficult to teach you guys design in a workshop, try and explain things. But I think today I want to try to get you guys some few little things I think is nice from After Effects. One is, uh, I don't know how many of you guys heard about Duke. It's basically it's a script, it's a free script, and you can read things in After Effects, and then you can create controls. It's pretty much like, I'm gonna give an example as a character animation, because with the how we can use nowadays, so it's coming a lot more into After Effects again. Uh, yesterday I, I showed one, uh, Little job we did for MTV, and where we have these poly effects where we scale all the face, that kind of thing. So I just built quickly to be light to bring today to you guys. Also, I think probably you guys all know Bug, this animation studio in New York. It's like one of the best animation studios. They always buy surprise and they always like use cell animation, that kind of thing. And uh, we had a pitch we did, uh, we was going to do, in the studio, we was going to do a, it's like a whole package for a festival in Brazil. And uh, we want to do kind of like 2D style animation style, but we want to bring something, you know, it's then we need to go and animate everything frame by frame, or we try and find some ways in, in Scene 4D and After Effects to be able to animate, to give texture, that kind of thing, and it start looking, still look like a bit cheesy, but I'm gonna show you guys how we did. And uh, we see how we carry on the class, because sometimes take a little bit of time to explain everything, sometimes we go faster so I can show more. So if I go too fast, just tell me if you have a question, tell me. I'm not a technical guy, I'm gonna tell that straight away. So if you're gonna ask me really difficult, questions technical I can get answers and I email to you guys but I'm more like I come from design and animation so I try to find easy solutions for what I want to do I try to use the software to do what I want not trying to focus my idea and how I'm gonna use doing the software just try and create ideas and from my ideas I try to see how I can build the ideas okay and Ooh. I was, I just was talking, I'm gonna show this, you guys probably most saw this um, uh, animation project from a friend of mine, Ariel Costa, he's a Brazilian guy, he's in Roger now, in, in, in LA. and uh, he's really, really top-notch guy, amazing motion graphic. I'm gonna show this piece because a lot of people expect to learn how to do these things, right? And this is pretty much basic stuff, but it's your idea from behind that, how you animate things. On the first class I gave a little bit, how to play a little bit with curves in After Effects, it's the same way in, in Scene Fuji. It's a really important thing, that's what give you time in animation. So you, I think the most important thing about design, and the idea is the timing you're building things, when you're animating things, you give real life. So it's not like a linear movement, you know, if you use it just easy, easy, you know, going to the curves, play with the curves and get what you want. I'm just going to show a little bit of that to explain that because I, I felt a little bit, sometimes people expect me to show how to do that. And there is quite a lot of things we cannot learn. And uh, I'm gonna show you one way, but we can use in so many different ways. I'm gonna ask you guys to open uh, After Effects. 
Uh, where? Oops. I didn't. I did this little animation for computer arts. Let me just try it here. Uh, into the screen. Yeah. So basically, it's like I did the illustration for computer arts for the article. It's just one thing called design matters. So I did the illustration, and after they asked me to do the animation on top of that, just for the online magazine. So basically, didn't have any day, so I designed everything, and I just want to have a little bit of fun. So the little guy runs that, generates a little bit electricity. I'm showing that because we got this guy. He was all rigging After Effects. So I want to show you guys a little bit how we can read, because we're gonna read the character here, but we, I'm gonna try not spend the whole class on that because I wanna show other things. So we, we can start a little bit just for you guys get the idea how to read. And I, I wanna show you this for you guys because you can apply that for anything. If you wanna animate like a, a line or anything, After Effects, you can create controls for that. So it's really powerful, this Duke. And everyone's gonna have in the computer, and uh, I can uh, I can show the the website after if you guys wanna download the home is free. They have something similar I think for the puppet too in uh, in a scripts, but I think you need to pay. And the Duke is the oldest one, so he generates expression for a lot of things, but you don't need to worry about that. You don't need touch. So if we open the After Effects, you guys supposed to have a full, all right, you can see my folders. They copy to the computer in case we have a problem. But if you guys go to computer, another thing, I'm not a PC user, so sometimes I'm not gonna know how to do things, all right? Uh, if you go to computer, you're gonna see this red folder. It's TMIA, you can go inside. There is a share folder. And I think you guys see only the events. So you're gonna have these little things I put here. So let's go inside this design matters. Right, and we have the after effects. Let's just quickly open this. Everyone found that? Yep. Did any of you guys play before with correct animation or? Something. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. I think character animation is one of the most difficult thing to do in animation and uh, to give life things. But in the same way, when in the same way when uh, when you have a character, it's so easy talking about animation. When you have a cube or something like the video I show you guys. What happens when you have such a simple thing to, to animate, it's a lot more difficult. You give life for the element because if you make a mistake or if it doesn't look right, you can notice by your character how, because you have a lot of things. Sometimes you can get away with that. All right. You guys got the same as me here, no? Yeah, so what I, I, I'm gonna show you guys here, and we're gonna just delete, and uh, we're gonna build just for you guys understand. But we're not gonna try build the whole body, but I'm gonna show you how you do that so you can use after that. But basically, if you see, I have now a controller, so I can just animate, so it's like inverse kinematics. So basically, for uh, everyone knows what is inverse kinematics. So you get Ford, uh, F, FK, Ford Kinematic is the old system when you have each element and you link parents to each other, so you rotate the arm, so it goes everything, you rotate here, you rotate here. The inverse kinematic, you have a controller, you pull him, he does all the math for you, and he generates like that. So you, now you can imagine, if you wanna animate lines, if you wanna animate a circle with Puppet 2, and uh, you can have controllers so you can make things like you can see the body 